In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the quick table calculation called difference. I'm going to show you how easy it is to use step by step and show you a few variations. So let's get started right now. All right, here we are in Tableau. And before we get started, if this is your first time here and you are not subscribed, be sure to subscribe because I release new videos three times a week so that you don't miss out. Okay, so we're going to start off where we always start off, which is the data set. So let me bring that over. And if you want to follow along with this little tutorial, the data set can be downloaded in the description below as always. So here we are with the data set and basically it's 10,000 rows um, and you've got a date and you've got some numerical values. For this example, we're really just using these two fields. All right. So let's load this up. Just going to drag and drop. And I'm actually going to close it just to make sure I don't get any issues. Okay, here we go. And let's go sheet one. So let's figure out or let's talk about what is the difference calculation really. And I've been asked this a few times, because people have like some sort of value over time. So let me show you. Let's say I have a value. Let's say by month, and I've got maybe the sales. And what they want to know is, if I get my drawing tool out, let's say I've got these two successive values, right? So values one after the other. What is that value, right? From one to the other, as opposed to what is its value from the bottom, okay? And this is really useful because sometimes when data is changing, we want to look um, back a month and go, did we make more money? Did we make less mistakes? Were there less injuries month to month as opposed to as a sum? Okay, so let me show you how to use it very easily. Um, I'm going to start with the sales one actually, and this will kind of get you started on how to understand what it's doing. So what I've got is I've got the quarter um, order date as a continuous, right? Let us see, and a sum of sales. And I'm gonna switch this to a bar like so. And I'm going to add the sum of sales to the label as well, just so we have the number. Okay, so the difference between really these two 83,066 is roughly what 17,000 something like that. So what I'm going to do is whenever I'm testing a new function or a new quick table calculation or something I haven't used in a while or I'm not familiar with, it's always good to have two visualizations so you can kind of compare and understand what it's doing. So let's bring in sum of sales again. Okay, so we have there now. And for this second one here, I'm just going to make sure to get rid of this one because as soon as we put a quick table on this, on this one, it won't apply here. So just this is just to avoid any silly mistakes. Okay, so then what I want to do is I want to right click this one and go quick table calculation. And I want to go difference. And there you have it, right? So what I'm going to do is also add the label for this one at the bottom. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to control click from here into this label, right? So make sure you've got this one selected. So I'm going to hold control and drop it in label. There you have it. Okay, so now let's do some calcs. So 83067 minus 66399 is 16,668. If you don't believe me, for those people who lack belief, let's do it. If this comes out wrong, I'll look very funny. Oh, all right. Um, so you got 16668, which is this one. So again, it's taking the current value minus the previous one. Now, if I go to the next one, this 145 is not 145 minus the both of them. It's only looking at successive values. So if I go 145 minus 83,000, that is this number here. So let's do that. 145281 minus 83067. 62214. That is it. Okay, so that's as simple as the difference function, uh, as simple as it gets. Now, I'm going to add kind of some extra stuff here, which is if you look on this particular visualization, you've got some negative values here. Okay. And in this one, well, for this particular data set, that doesn't kind of that kind of doesn't make sense. And I'm going to show you why. Let me just get rid of some of these labels just to clear it up. And what I'm going to do going to do is I'm going to color code these by the quarter. So I'm going to right click drag this order date. And I'm going to go to this all one, right click, drag color, 
and I want to color them by the quarter, a discrete quarter. That way all the quarter ones are together and so on. There you have it. So if I click on quarter one, okay, from this top one, really if I'm comparing, let's say, sales, which typically, you know, in, in most businesses, it's cyclical or cyclical, right? So um, you'll have a certain pattern for the year and then it'll kind of repeat the next year. So Christmas will be your best sales. So it doesn't really make sense to compare, for example, um, quarter four with quarter one because you're like, oh, we didn't do as good as December, but it's like, yeah, it's January. It's kind of downtime. People are going back to work and school and spending is not going to be as much. So what you can do to actually get rid of this issue, let me get rid of this coloring, right? What you can do to get rid of this particular issue to stop it from doing this is we can add a discrete here, which will split them up by year. Okay, so let's start with that. So I'm going to right click drag order date up here. We're going to click year and watch what happens in the background. It's going to split into four for each year, 2017, 18, 19. Cool. And then what we're going to do is here on the quick table calculation, instead of applying it, you know, for the whole table, it will apply it per pane. Okay, so let me show you that. If you right click here and go compute using, you can go pane across which means it's just looking at, these are panes, right? Individual, whenever you split it, you've basically got a pane. Whenever you say table, it means the entire, the entire thing, right? So if I go here and go compute using pane across, those ones will disappear. And it's only looking at this as your starting point for each one. So you no longer have that issue and you can kind of track year to year. That is it. That is how you use the quick table calculation difference. If you enjoyed, hit that like button. You know, don't forget to subscribe. All that stuff helps with the YouTube algorithm and to grow the channel. And if you want to learn all this stuff, I have links to my Udemy course in the uh, description below. So feel free to check that out if you want to learn all sorts of things Tableau. Until next time, hope you enjoyed and see you then. Bye.